My friend Jenny's cats wanted to go outside, but she was afraid to let them out. She was concerned that they might get injured or might get attacked or might get lost. But her cats would look out the windows as if they knew what they were missing and she knew that that was really where they wanted to be. Ever since they had escaped into the outdoors one day, they wanted to have that outside experience over and over again. She walked them on leashes and she strolled them in strollers and she even built a catio for them. All of those things were great, but they weren't good enough. Her cats continued to pine for the opportunity to chase bugs, to hide under bushes, and to just run around free outdoors. She needed something that would allow them to go outside day or night that was not as confining as a catio. Something that would let them run around a little bit, then chase the bugs and hide under the bushes. It would have to be something that had large boundaries where they didn't feel particularly confined, but at the same time would keep them safe. And then she found a solution. She installed a cat corral. This is a great product that she bought from a company called Perfect Fence, and I'm going to show it to you. And what if I told you that in the end, in the long term, this cat corral did not cost her anything. If you watch to the end of the video, I'm gonna show you exactly how this cat corral would not only pay for itself, but could possibly save you money. I know it sounds far-fetched, but it's true. Now, if you don't have a house or if you don't have a yard, which are necessary, I'm gonna share with you some tips on what to look for in a house if in the future you want this type of corral for your cats. It's critical that you avoid the mistake that I made. Now, many cat owners will uh, let their cats roam outside, but this channel is for indoor cats. And if you have indoor cats and you thought, I can never let them play outside, think again. This cat corral is made specifically for cats, specifically to thwart the climbing and jumping that they can do to try to get out of places. Once you have set it up, they might take a little while to get used to the outdoors, but once they do, I guarantee that they will be spending a lot of time outside and that they will be enjoying it immensely. These cat enclosures are sold by a company called Perfect Fence. And if you're interested, I'm going to include a link to their company in the description below. I do wanna say that this video is not sponsored by Perfect Fence. They are not paying me to produce this video. Now, Jenny's Corral is pretty big. It's about 3,500 square feet altogether, which gives the cats a lot of room to run around and play and enjoy the outdoors. The enclosure is made with a strong poly mesh and is attached to metal posts with zip ties. The posts are inserted into metal sheets that are hammered into the ground using this metal plug to keep them from denting. To prevent digging underneath, there's a welded metal mesh at the bottom that covers both the bottom of the mesh and the ground next to it so it can keep the cats in and predators out. You will need some tools for the installation, primarily a wire cutter and uh, some kind of sledgehammer. This is a small sledgehammer that we used uh, and it wasn't very expensive at one of the big box stores. Now the arms that keep the cats inside are spring loaded. So if your cat climbs up, the arm will swing down and prevent your cat from climbing out. You can also get gates, which latch and can be locked if you wish. The gates come in different sizes and are really necessary to get gardening equipment inside for mowing and that kind of thing. Now the kits from Perfect Fence supply everything from the mesh that you will need to the metal posts, the sheaths, the uh, zip ties and the arms that keep the cats in. Now it's not complicated to set up, but I think you will need some help. It will be much, much easier if you have two or more people working on this at the same time. One of the things I really like about these cat enclosures is that from far away they are barely visible so that they don't create an eyesore in your backyard or in your neighborhood. Regardless, you should check with your city ordinances and if you have a homeowners owners association, the association to see if this kind of enclosure is allowed in your yard. Before you get one and install it, also check your yard to see what would be the best layout, where your plants are, if you have a tree, where the trees are, so that you can actually uh, use the landscape that you have to the best advantage. For example, Jenny had to keep her big tree outside of the enclosure so that the cats wouldn't climb up the tree and escape. I think it's also useful after you have installed it to, to do a perimeter check once a month or a couple of times a month, just to make sure that nothing is frayed, the, all the latches and the gates are still working fine, that nobody's been gnawing down at the bottom of the mesh, and that everything looks good. Jenny has had this enclosure for about three years and it has no problems except a little bit of sagging, which was easily fixed with zip ties. 
So her cats really enjoy this enclosure, running around, hiding under bushes, chasing bugs, uh, wrestling with each other. And they especially like it when she's out there with them. And it's big enough so you can have lunch, you can do other things, you can do some gardening, and they will be all around you and not be in danger. When Oreo was a little kitten, she would follow Jenny around in the uh, corral as if Jenny was her mother. It was really cute. Some of her cats even like it in a snowstorm, especially Fluffy, whose markings indicate that he probably is a breed that's used to winter. He loves running around in the snow and playing in it, as well as Shambi. Shambi's always outdoors and she liked it in the snow. Lulu not so much, although she did venture out a little bit into the snow. It's a different environment and provides a lot of stimulation that they don't get otherwise. Now to make this corral even more interesting for your cats, you need to add some plants. Plants that will allow them to hide underneath them, not just trees. So uh, we install these grasses and these bushes where the cats can hide under them. They love to sit in underneath there and watch you while they think that you don't know where they are. These types of plants also protect them from the hot sun in the summer. But be careful, many plants, many flowers are toxic to cats. You need to do your research and make sure that the plants that you're putting in your corral are safe for cats. You never know when they will try to eat them. You can also put in plants that they really enjoy smelling and playing with like catnip or catmint. In addition to plants, you can add places for them to climb. We put in these posts with some twine wrapped around them so they could climb them easily. This is because they don't really have trees to climb in here. And we also added platforms that they could lounge on or just sit on and survey their territory. They really like being up above and watching everything from up there. And they also like just lying up there and, and relaxing, knowing that they are above everything. We also made this little bungalow, this little cat house for them to, to lie in. It has a compartment underneath and it has a little balcony on top. Sometimes it has saved them when there's been a sudden rain that they didn't expect and they didn't have time to run back into the house. Now you will need to think about where to put the access to the corral in your house. We have put the access on this window and it has a pet door with a custom border so that it'll fit into the window snugly. A couple of them like to prowl around at night or early in the morning around dawn, so they can go in and out at will. Now there are some issues that you will need to consider. One of them is that other small animals will get in there. In some cases, the cats hunt them down. Give me the bird. Fluffy, give me the bird. Primarily birds, squirrels, mice, uh, snakes, garden snakes. In other cases, they are able to escape. But there are some things that you can do to minimize the problem. For example, we put in this post so that a squirrel can climb up it and go over the mesh. This post is also narrow enough that a cat can't climb it. Also avoid doing things that will attract birds. Don't put bird feeders inside the corral. Don't put in a bird bath because her cats, I know for sure, will hide under the bushes and wait. It doesn't happen very often, but you should be aware of the possibility. Another issue to consider is fleas. Uh, many neighborhoods have other cats and dogs wandering around and there's just fleas in the neighborhood. Keep the lawn, if you have grass, mowed closely. You can also spray the yard a couple of times a year, but make sure to follow the instructions so that your cats don't get poisoned by the spray. Also use medicine or collars to keep the fleas under control during the spring and the summer. You also need to be aware that your cats will be outside so they might drag in dirt or other things that you will need to clean up. In general, the benefits of having this kind of enclosure for your cats are far outweigh the potential problems that it might cause. It's hard to describe how much enjoyment the cats really get from being able to go in and out at will to enjoy the outdoors. Another important benefit is that your cats will get used to an outdoor environment that means that they will not panic if they accidentally slip out the front door someday. This is a big problem with indoor cats. They go outside, they panic, and suddenly they're under a shed or under bushes or running off. The other day, Jenny's cat Athena slipped outside through the front door, but she just rolled around on the sidewalk and Jenny was easily able to pick her up and bring her back without any problem. This was because she was used to the outdoor environment. 
and it did not panic her. Now let's talk about the money. These enclosures can cost hundreds if not thousands of dollars for a very large one. But as I promised, I'm going to show you how in the long term they can pay for themselves or even save you money. Jenny has five cats, and four out of the five of them prefer to toilet outside rather than in the litter boxes inside. As soon as she installed the cat corral, she saw the use of the litter boxes inside drop dramatically. So what does that mean for you? It means that you can save money on cat litter. Let's do a quick calculation. According to FAQ Cats, and I'll put the link below, the average cost of cat litter per cat is between $10 and $40 a month. So if you have three cats like I do, that's about $60 a month on average, or about $720 a year. Now, if your cats use the outdoors 75% of the time and the indoor cat litter boxes only 25% of the time, that converts into a savings of about $540 a year on average. So in two years, a smaller cat enclosure has paid for itself. And after two years, you start saving money. Now, Jenny has a pretty large cat enclosure, uh, but she has five cats. And we estimate that it took about three years for the corral to pay for itself. So basically, in the long term, you can get one of these cat corrals for free. Now, how long it'll take you to break even depends on a lot of things. The size of the enclosure, how many cats you have, what kind of litter you use, and how much it costs, those kinds of factors. So it's not a guarantee. But I think it's very probable that if you get a cat enclosure like this, after two or three years, it will have paid for itself and you will start saving money. Now, there is a downside, which is that you have to pick up the poop as if you had a dog. And only you can decide whether the benefits of having this kind of cat corral are worth the extra work. Now, one of the things that we did to reduce the amount of poop in the yard was we built this large litter box in the corner of the yard. It's built with railroad ties and we used playground sand. Now the cats don't use it all the time, but they do use it and it reduces the amount of poop in other parts of the yard. Now I know what you're thinking. If this is such a great product and the cats enjoy it so much and it pays for itself in the long term, why don't I have one? The problem is that my house is basically built on rocks. So I cannot install the posts of this uh, corral without actually drilling into the rock underneath my yard. So my recommendation to, to you is to look at your yard carefully and see if there's anything that will make it difficult for you to install this kind of system. And for those of you who are considering in the, for the future that you might be able to buy a house and you'd like to have this kind of system, look at the yard. See if there's any problems that will prevent you from installing it from how close you are to your neighbors, to are there rocks underneath, to uh, is there a homeowner's association or is there a big tree that the cats could use to escape. Let me say one other thing, that if your cats are used to wandering the neighborhood, if they are outdoor cats and you want to make them into indoor cats, this system will help a little bit, but it will not solve your problems. For a cat that's used to wandering around out wherever it wants in the neighborhood, keeping it enclosed like this will still feel confining. But if you have indoor cats that are looking out the window and hoping to get outside, then this is a great solution because for them it'll feel like total freedom. Now if this project is too big for you or if your yard is too small, then you might consider a catio instead. It's not the same, but it also has great benefits and I'm gonna put a video about that right around here. Thank you so much for watching. Please share and like if you thought this was useful.